What's happening, y'all? Back on the throne of thought, ready to deliberate and give you an answer to your question as the Magnusite movement marches forward to one million subscribers. And yes, the Dark Mjolnir still hangs to the left. Now, let me see here. This says, Magnus, please keep me anonymous. Says my boyfriend is 20 and I'm 18. I lost my virginity to him and now we're together. We've only been together over three weeks, but I really do care about him. The thing is, he's super self-conscious about the size of his penis. This is related to the last video I did. Let's see, um, we've only had sex twice. The foreplay is great, but he only lasts literally a minute with sex. God damn. He'll stop and say, is it too small? He asked me, God, God damn. He asked, well, apparently he's not minute man. It's not about be, being small. You see, he asked me if it was too small multiple times. And I just say no. I didn't even notice it was small until he pointed it out. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So it says he's self-conscious about his body, too. He doesn't like taking his shirt off. Last time I uh, had asked him three times. He compliments my body and touches me, but whenever I touch him, he says, what, I'm too skinny? God damn. But I'm never even thinking that. Or he'll say something like, yeah, I used to work out and I have abs, but I already told him he looks fine the way he is, but he still says these things. His insecurities are a huge problem and I don't know what to do. What should I do? And how else should I approach this to him? I don't want to leave him because of this. Thanks in advance, one million subscribers. Woo. Well, I gotta tell you this, Magnusita. If I were you, I think what works good on men and what would work on me is if a girl was directed to the point with me. I think you need to say to him, listen, you turn me off every time you're worried about your penis, every time you don't want to take your shirt off. I like you just the way you are. You're pointing out all these things that you have problems with, with your body. I don't see them as problems to me. I like you and love you just the way you are. Now, if you continue like this, you're going to start to repulse me. And I'm not going to be attracted to you anymore. And I'm not going to want to have sex with you anymore. Is that what you want? Okay, then. Become more confident and happy with who you are. Stop thinking you have a small dick. Stop, you know, stop thinking that your body sucks. If you think that your body sucks, do something about it. Stop crying and being sad about it, okay? I mean, he's got to know. He's got to, he's got to be told, man. Like, I mean, I would tell him straight up, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Are you a man or are you a mouse? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? I mean, you're... you're you, you don't last long and then you complain, what, what, is it, my, is it my dick too small? First of all, your dick size has nothing to do with how long you're lasting. Got what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I, and a lot of guys are insecure about their dick size just because of the media and, and watching porn too much. They think that they're all supposed to be hanging at nine inches and, you know, um, from what I've heard, anywhere from six to eight would do the job, sometimes even less depending on the girl's vagina. So, I mean, he needs to stop that shit. You look at my other video, he really needs to take the penis pills, stretch his dick out, whatever he needs to do to make himself feel happy about his dick. Or uh, maybe he just needs to go to tapping.com, okay? And tap all these insecurity and negative feelings out. Cause this, this email irritates me because I'm a man and he's acting like a bitch in my eyes. And don't let my opinion of what the way he's acting make you break up with him, okay? A lot of guys are young. We had our insecurities. I used to be a straight bitch when it came to certain things. So don't worry about that. I know a woman who stayed married to a guy for like, I don't know, four or five years. Um, he wasn't the biggest that she ever had. And he wasn't the best. Um, but she was turned on by him. She thought he was very attractive. But the man only lasted three minutes, literally. And I said... Stop, because people always say, minute man, I live three minutes. She's like, yes, I've timed it. Every single time, three minutes. You are saying one minute. I don't know if that's true, if you're exaggerating, but some dudes are like that. 
if he if he's worried about that, there are ways to prolong it, to prolong sex. There's different methods. Look them up on the internet. There's different books, uh, all different types of things to help um, with his problem. Okay, um, let me see. I think I've answered almost everything. I mean. Yeah, if he's got a problem with his body, tell him to start working the fuck out. All these things he can take care of, but you need to, like, give him an ultimatum. Because that's what would speak to me. It sounds to me like you're the one in charge. There's, in every relationship, you can always tell that just somebody's in charge. Even if they seem very equal, you can tell if one edges the other one out, okay? And uh, you sound like you're the one edging this motherfucker out. So, do what I told you. Tell him what he needs to be told, okay? I mean, I don't know if he's the type, just, just just skating the line, but if you told him stop acting like a bitch and believe in yourself like a man, sometimes that works for some guys. Some guys, it emasculates, and they never come back from it. So you weigh how you need to tell him what you need to tell him, but he needs to be told up front, point blank, okay? This is one thing that young couples do all the time. They dance around issues. They don't want to say something. They don't, because they don't want to argue. A lot of older couples that are experienced, that know how to problem solve, they let each other know exactly what it is right away, very calmly, all right? And then they can handle their problem and then move on. So that's what you need to do if you want to move on with this guy, all right? One million subscribers. Woo!